Hey guys, hello everybody. Um, this is Angeline Lindsay, and this is my husband, Michael Lindsay, and this is my Blakely. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, guys, today um, I just wanna share something about us. Did you guys remember na nagkwento ako about my life of what happened my life when I was a uh, when I was a little girl when I was young. Uh, a little girl na may nakaranas ako ng ano, hindi magandang uh, magandang life, kaya ang kadugtong nun ay uh, ito ito yung uh, kadugtong na maganda naman, kaya ikukwento namin sa inyo guys, kung paano nga ba nagsimula yung aming love story okay? <laughs> salimuot na buhay na naranasan ko ito nga yung blessing na dumating sa akin nakilala ko yung husband ko um, tapos ano mabait yung husband ko kaya super blessed ako kasi sa kabila na nangyari sa buhay ko ito yung naging kapalit di ba um, super ano super thankful ako guys kasi um, since na nakilala ko yung husband ko as in, nag-change talaga yung buhay, nag-change talaga yung life ko nagkaroon ako ng uh, peace of mind kapahimikan, yung bang parang wala nang gumugulo sa isip ko tapos mm, ano, nag-start na rin nakilala ko yung ano yung uh, God, nakilala ko talaga yung true God talaga, as in na ano ko siya, nahanap ko siya dito sa puso ko as in ano talaga well noon pa naman ano talaga as in malakas ko yung tiwala ko talaga kay God lagi naman talaga akong nagdadasal lagi akong humihingi talaga ng ano sa kanya ng gabay pero iba iba yung ngayon iba yung ngayon guys kasi eh parang nandiyan siya lagi sa amin kasama namin siya kasama ko siya kasama ng family ko as in super ano talaga super binagay niya ako okay Ayan guys, kaya yun yung ano ko, yun yung very, ano ko guys, very thankful ko talaga sa buhay. Na kahit um, ganun yung buhay ko noon, yung sobrang kasakit ng mga tao sa akin, sobrang kasakit ng mga kamag-anak ko, ito yung naging bunga, ito yung naging kapalit na uh, super, ano talaga, super blessed and super successful na super successful na yung ano hindi naman as in ano talaga hindi naman akong millionaire pero as in ano na ba nag change lang yung life ko as in wala nang nanakit sa akin kasi yung husband ko is very um very caring understanding at saka hindi ko narinig sa kanya yung ano paninigaw or hindi man lang ako naka tikim ng kahit ting of mga <laughs> ganun siya ka ganun siya ka ano ganun siya ka bait ganun siya ka ano ka kaalaga sa akin sa mga anak ko at super ano din siya super um malakas magtiwala talaga sa taas kaya ayan guys yung yung nakaraan ko is ano na nakaraan na nga yun di ba ito na yung bago ng buhay ko ito na yung yung parang masaya na ako wala nang ano nagkaroon ako ng katahimikan sa aking sa aking ano sa aking buhay parang ganun na parang ganun kaya yung nakilala ko siya as in parang ano lang ba parang hindi naman ako as in nag ano agad nag yung pang parang tinanong ko sa sarili ko na o oh, siya na ba talaga or meron pa ba kaya yung nag ano na ako nag nag-start ako magpray kasi gusto ko talaga itong tao na to ay ayun nang nag-start naman kami nag-chat nag, ano lang siya tawag siya ng tawag nag-chat siya tapos yung sinabihan ko siya na okay kung serious ka talaga you need to you need to come to the Philippines and meet me and then 
nakakala ko na video lang. Sabi mo, sige, ipunta ako next month. Tapos, ayun, yung dapat pupunta siya doon ng nasusurprise na ako ng birthday ko, October 2. Kaso nga, nagkaano tayo, nagkabagyo yung Ondoy, yung kinansel niya yung flight niya, gumawa niya October 9. Na dumating din siya, dumating siya na, nakatapos na ng sobrang baha doon sa Manila. Dumating siya doon, nag-stay siya ng two weeks, um, na sumama, sumahan ko siya sa hotel, pero ano talaga, as in, super maingat siya, as in, secret pa yung room namin. <laughs> kasi, sabi niya, ano, mga kailangan natin gawin to, kasi ayaw kong, ayaw kong, ano, ayaw kong sirain yung tiwala niya. Kaya super, ano, oh, siya, super, super, ano, super, ano siya talaga, super gentleman. Kaya ngayon, nag-stay siya doon, nabashare kami, as in, ano talaga siya, pumunta siya doon sa pinatrabahuan ko, nagpaalam siya, na, ganito nga, ang balang araw, pagkakasalan niya ako, at kukunin niya ako doon, um, pero bago, bago ang lahat ngayon yan, pinaalam niya ako sa pamilya doon sa pinatrabahuan ko, ano, pinat, um, as in, nagkakilala siya, na ganito, ganyan ang trabaho niya, as in, serious talaga siya guys, as in, ano talaga siya, very, um, seryoso ba sa tao. Ayun nga, yung, yung nag, sa pag-stay niya dun guys, yung unti-unti yung, ano, unti-unti ba yung nag-develop na taong, ito na yun, ito na yung tao ngayon, hindi na magbabago yung, yung, ano, yung, na pag-stay niya ng two weeks, parang, ano na, ang tawag dito, parang gusto ko na sumama. Hindi ka sa hindi pwede, kasi kailangan yung mga papers, kailangan, kailangan yung sikasuhin, kaya, ayun, naghintay pa kami ng, ilang taon nga tapos yun, yun guys um, nung bumalik na siya dito anong tao dito pinaglipatan niya ako hindi na ako pinagtrabaho, pinalipat niya ako kasi ano sabi niya mag ano ka na lang mag apartment ka na lang, ganyan ganyan kaya yun, super thankful ako kasi parang ang sarap ng buhay ng ganito, ang sarap ang sarap na, parang nakaranas na ako na gaano ka sarap ang buhay ng ganun y yun na may, nag, ano ako, nag-apartment, may sarili akong, yun ba, may sarili akong mga, ano, may sarili akong pagkain, yung parang ganun, yung happy-happy ako na wala akong ginagawa, except na, araw-araw, pumupunta ko sa internetan, kasi, kailangan ko, kausapin ko siya, kailangan, kailangan, ano, communication naman, tuloy-tuloy, pero, pero siya yung nagbabayan, kasi, hindi, ayaw ko naman na, pabilihin siya, gusto niya, mabilihin siya ako ng, laptop, pero ayaw ko naman, kasi, ay, kaya yun, uh, araw-araw ko pumupunta, sagot niya yung mga kong binabayan ko, sagot niya yung, basta lahat-lahat, sagot-sagot niya. Ayan, kaya, ayan guys, yan naman yung magkukwento. <laughs> yan naman yung magkukwento sa inyo. I'm gonna tell you guys, oh, kung paano nga ba kami hey. nag, uh, kakilala ng aking husband, at kung ano nga ba yung mga process. Okay? It's your turn. <laughs> Well, we got to know each other, first of all, on the internet. She was in the Philippines and I was in the United States. And a friend of mine introduced us. Mm -hmm. And we got to know each other via the webcam. Internet connection. And so we <laughs> had a, uh, about a year of getting to know each other just on video mm -hmm. and then I finally went to the Philippines to meet her and I gave her a wedding ring <laughs> uh, engagement ring rather and asked her to marry me and then it took about another year to get her back over to the United States and that was a really long year for both of us we we wanted to be together and we wanted to start our lives here, but we had to go through all the the red tape, the processing to allow our government to bring her over here on a fiancé visa. So we ended up getting married on March 11, 2011. Mm -hmm. And so today, or in a couple of days, two more days, will be our 10th year anniversary. And when she first got here, everything was wonderful. 
the first year we just we were always together and we had a wonderful first year and then we started having babies <laughs> and so life became a little more challenging as anybody who knows uh, that has children knows how challenging it could be so we have to try to find time for each other but we always stick together and we always support one another so if we're having a bad day because the kids are fussy or not doing what they're supposed to do we sometimes get upset at them but we never get upset with each other we always support each other and we're good to each other and that's the biggest blessing that we both have in our marriage is no matter what kind of day we're having we never take it out on or bring it to our marriage we always put ourselves or our marriage first and we never really meant to do that we didn't set out to do that it just kind of developed that way we knew that for us to be happy and to be together and to be successful we just both knew that we we needed to work with each other and encourage each other because you know life and raising a family is hard enough and if you don't have the support of your husband or wife uh, it's going to be even more hard and so we just always had that understanding we never even really talk about it but she's always good to me and always nice to me she never tries to correct me or reprimand me uh, even if I am insensitive or don't do something that's uh, very caring or concerned about her feelings she she won't say anything but I know if I've hurt her or I know if I, I haven't been considerate and I just make the adjustment and we go on we we don't let it linger we say we're sorry and we love each other and we just continue to support each other so our marriage has just been a blessing having a family we've just been blessed more and more every year we get we get a, a, a better return on our blessings mm -hmm. and we owe it all to um, Jesus first of all because we both you know believe in Jesus we both believe that he's the Lord and Savior and that he's with us and he's for us and we live our lives to serve him and then we serve each other and by having that that uh, relationship with the Lord and it just helps us strengthen our relationship mm -hmm. so now coming up on 10 years we're really uh pretty mature and experienced as a, 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 a couple or a marriage couple now and we've uh we figured out a long time ago that we just whatever it takes we just help support each other and so it's really become a better and better and better marriage I never would have thought I could love her more and more every year but that's exactly what's happened we we just continue our love gets better and stronger and richer At the more that we go through as a family um, the better we get and the more closer to to the Lord we get our marriage gets better that much better so it's just gotten better and better and so 10 years into this there has never been a day that I didn't appreciate and um, be grateful for having Angeline as my wife and I think she feels the same way yes I do of course <laughs> and then we we just we just want to encourage everybody else if you're if you're 
looking for a partner, if you're looking for a husband or wife, or you have one and you need to strengthen, we encourage you to, to get things, you know, right with you and your Lord, Jesus, mm -hmm. and then also work on yourselves. You don't have to straighten each other out. All you have to do is straighten yourself out. If you work on yourself, your marriage is going to be just fine. So we, we don't try to correct each other. We don't try to tell each other the little things that we didn't do right or what we need to do. Very seldom do we go down that road. We all pretty much know what we need to do to be a better person. So we just try to focus in on what we can do to improve ourselves. Mm -hmm. And our marriage has really benefited because of that. I see so many married couples that, that try to correct their husband or wife and try to um, control them in a way, I guess you could say. And I don't think it works very well. But our relationship has flourished because we don't try that. We just do what we know is right for ourselves and for each other. And everything is just taken care of. And it kind of sounds easy. It kind of sounds like a cliche um, how to do that or that everybody knows you should do that. But not everybody actually does that. <laughs> and so we've just been able to do it and put each other first and work on ourselves and, and not try to put too much pressure on each other. Um, and it's, we've really benefited from it. So I just wanna say at, at this time that I look forward to the next 10 years, it's gonna be even better as our children get a little older. We'll have more time for ourselves coming up. I look forward to that and I'm just so happy and so blessed to have Angeline as my wife. She is, without a doubt, the perfect, perfect wife for me. And I just thank God that we're together. And so I just want to leave this uh, by saying that there was a divine uh, interaction or um, God was in our getting together. Mm -hmm. I really believe that she was the woman that I was seeking long before I ever met her. I was dreaming about a wife that would honor me and be unselfish and put me um, in her heart and always look for ways to help me and please me and support me. I always wanted a wife like that. And I know she, Angeline, was in the Philippines before we met. She was always looking for someone to love her that would take care of her and would treat her nice and not hurt her. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, when I met her, I yeah. committed and vowed to do was always to be nice to her take care of her the best of, of my ability and not hurt her but to always love her and treat her with respect and dignity and that's what she was looking for and because we were both looking for one another in, in respect to that the things that we the, the values that we had God just seemed to put it together for us there was no way that neither one of us could find each other uh, on the other side of the world if God hadn't interacted in getting us together we would have never found each other and we would have never had the blessings that our marriage has produced so God will honor and will come through when you put a um, a request forward and you just keep thinking about it you keep dreaming about it and feeling what that would feel like 
and you ask God for that, and you believe that it's going to happen, and you, you will do the things that are necessary to get that done. Mm -hmm. Like when, when I first met her, I knew that somebody was going to introduce me to a girl on the internet, so I had to go to his house. So God has really blessed us, and we give him thanks all the time. We're grateful for it. And because of that, we just keep getting closer and closer, and our marriage is stronger and stronger. And we just want to tell you guys that mm -hmm. it can work for you too if you're looking for that, and, or if your marriage is, you know, a little challenging. Just remember that God is there. always there. He's, he's the answer. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the answer. And if you seek Him and you walk with Him, all good things are going to happen for you. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong following Jesus. Yes, that's right. Because, you know, I remember remember my life is not that good. Remember? Yeah. I have the really rough life. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I just, you know, I just pray and pray and look at me now. It's, everything is changed. And I have a good life. I have a good husband. And I have... I have my own family and I have my house and everything and you know God is so uh, it's really he's really great I mean he blessed me so much and whatever I ask him he always answer my prayer amen <laughs> yeah well thanks for tuning in guys thank you I hope, we hope this has been a blessing for you mm -hmm. And we hope that you can experience and have what we have. And we just wanted to share that so we don't want to act, come across like we're bragging. We just want to share that God is good to us and he'll be good to you. If he does for one, he will do for another. Mm -hmm. Just, and, you know, just believe on him and ask him what you want. Right? That's right. <laughs> God will always honor that. Mm -hmm. And if something is taken away from you, Angeline's family was taken away from her. Um, so in the Bible, it says that if the devil steals from you or takes something away from you, mm -hmm. God will restore it yes. seven times more. Yes, amen. Or in another words, he will make it even better, better and better. And better. Yes. than before and so all you have to do to connect with that is just be open to God mm -hmm. open with Jesus give him your heart mm -hmm. and trust that he's going to straighten it all out mm -hmm. and he will yes hallelujah say amen Clay Clay yeah. Yeah. amen <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so, um Thank you, thank you sa pag -watch. and thank you na sa always support. Thank you guys. And ito yung, ano, ito yung kapalit ng pagiging, ano, pagiging naghirap ko noon. Ito yung kapalit. is uh, super blessed, blessed. Um, um, sa kabila ng uh, pasakit ng aking buhay, ay ito yung naging kapalit ngayon. Ay, I'm so blessed and Everything is fine. Ayan, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. And thank you, thank you for your support. And I hope na uh, lagi, mo pa, lagi nyo pa rin kaming susuportahan. Um, salamat. Thank you for sharing and comment. And please subscribe. Sa hindi pa nakasubscribe, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Nine kiss. Bye-bye. God bless you.